so I have a haul for you today. Um, I don't think I've done one of these videos in a while, but this past weekend when I went home, I went to the Mac store and I went to Charlotte Roos, even though we have a Charlotte Roos here, to get my employee discount. So I picked up a lot of stuff and then today we went to Target and Sky and I picked up a couple of essentials and I got a little bit of makeup stuff that's just for fun so I thought I would share with you guys so enjoy okay let's start first with the MAC products I got this was actually my first time ever purchasing anything at MAC so this is my MAC virginity and I am using my first ever MAC products and I am in love with them so far I've used them ever since I got them on Saturday so I purchased the Studio Fix Fluid from MAC. Um, I'm color NW15, and I really like it. I wanted to get a full coverage, flawless face, and I'm really oily, so I wanted something matte. So far, it's done well for me. Um, throughout the day, it stays on. I don't have issues with it sliding or anything, so um, it's just a little review. I haven't used it long enough to give you guys anything in detail but so far I love it and I think it cost me like $27, $30, something like that. And then the next product I got from MAC was their finishing powder. Um, I think it's called Studio Care Blend Pressed Powder. And I got it in the color light. So the guy who helped me at the store in Macy's just sat me down and gave put my face on for me. I told him I wanted a flawless face and so he did it all for me and that's where I decided, you know what, I have a good primer already, I've got a good foundation now, I just need to get the final powder, finishing powder to finish it all off. So I really like this and I like the way that this color makes me look, I like the way that this powder sits on my skin. So. So far, my first two matte products are wonderful. At Charlotte Russe, I picked up a whole bunch of really comfy and soft t-shirts that I can wear every day that are kind of slouchy, um, that I can put on with anything, jeans, leggings, whatever. I just needed some t-shirts. Plus, this past weekend was Employee Appreciation Weekend, so I got a pretty nice discount, and I figured, why not buy stuff? So, first off, I will show you this shirt. Excuse the wrinkles, it was kind of sitting in a bag. But um, it's a black floppy shirt and it says, I had too much to dream last night. Um, it's really cute and the back has this kind of hole. It doesn't go too low that it shows my bra or anything, but this is super cute and it's soft and it's perfect. The next one I got, I'll show you is a sweater that is like longer in the back it's just plain black it's really cute the sleeves are about a little longer than three quarter I'd say they come to like here on my arm um, and I, I bought this same sweater in gray because I liked it so much and it is not too heavy. I mean, it's a pretty thin sweater. I wouldn't. I almost wouldn't call it a sweater. I almost call it just a long sleeve. But um, I figured those would be good for the fall season. Um, and then I have two more shirts. I got a basic white tee with a little pocket um, to wear with anything. It can be used as a layering piece or even worn on its own. I think it'll even go into the summer, which I love clothes that are for all seasons. So this is going to be perfect. And then the next shirt I got is another one of my favorites. It's another graphic tee and it says, you're my favorite daydream. And it's like a baseball tee with the sleeves gray like they are and it's just another soft normal tee. So those are all the shirts I got at Charlotte Russe. I think I wound up, would have wound up spending 80 bucks. So one, two, three, four, five, and I think they're all around 15, 16 dollars. Um, so that is what I got at Charlotte Russe. So just a whole bunch of really comfy tees. Today we went to Target and I purchased some makeup and other essentials. And I first want to start off with the e.l.f. products that I purchased. I really enjoy their products. I've actually never purchased makeup, but I've used their brushes and 
for my needs, they work fine. Um, I just had to get some new things and I purchased my first makeup product from e.l.f. today. So let me show you those. Okay, so I actually used all of these products already today. So the brushes I'm going to show you are dirty, but they're from one use, so they're not bad. These are the three brushes I got. I purchased the e.l.f. Professional Bronzing Brush, and it's a little dirty. I purchased the Professional Foundation Brush, which is this one here. I've actually used this before, but um, I don't have a good brush cleaner, so mine brushes get really bad. And I mean, these are only a dollar, the white handle ones, so why not just buy a new one? And then the last one is the e.l.f. Small Stipple, Stipple, Stipple? brush and this is a black handle so these were three dollars and um, it's just a flat top brush so those are the three brushes I've got and I already used them all today and I'm really liking them they do what I need them to so those are the brushes and then the next thing I purchased from elf was their contouring blush and bronzer I actually don't know like what shade this was or if they have other shades because this is the only one available let me show you it comes with, it's all dirty because I used it. It comes with um, a nice bronzer and a really, really light blush. So um, the bronzer is pretty dark that I have in here and I'm actually wearing it today. I don't know if it's dark because of the way I applied it and I might have gone too heavy. Like, I mean, this was my first time using it, so I can always go lighter and play around with it, but it was pretty dark for my skin, but the blush hardly showed up at all. I felt like I was just putting more and more on trying to get it to look nice, but I mean, for what was this, like $3? You can't really go wrong, and for my first ever contouring kit, this is pretty good, so I like the e.l.f. products. And the next two things I got from Target are essentials for my makeup and everyday use. I picked up another thing of Falsies Volume Express Mascara by Maybelline. This is the mascara I've like always used. I love it. It does what I need it to and makes my eyelashes look gorgeous. So I got another one of those because I was out. And I also purchased some more face wash. This is the face wash I always use. It's oil-free acne wash. Um, pink Grapefruit Foaming Scrub by Neutrogena. I think this goes for about $8 and I always get the big one. There's like a smaller size and there's a pump size that doesn't have the beads in it. Um, I like this one. I've used it, I've used like four of these completely so I really like this face wash. I just love the way it smells and um, the beads are just enough of an exfoliant without going overboard so that you can use this every day. Um, yeah, that was the purchase I got. Okay, critters. Well, that's all for my haul today from Mac, Charlotte Russe, and Target. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this. Give this video a thumbs up if you like to see haul videos and you want to see some more. Um, tell me in the comment section below what your guys' favorite products that I purchased was. And let me know if you guys have any questions at all about anything. I will be glad to answer. So as always, I love you all. Peace out. Oh, are you excited to see Blake? <laughs> are you comfy?